Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to animate this scene uh, with the two kids making snow angels. And so I started uh, with this. I just downloaded it from freepick.com. It's an EPS, which is still vector. An EPS is an encapsulated postscript. Still vector, still good, guys. So I downloaded it, opened it up in Illustrator, and here it is in, in Adobe Illustrator. First, I'd like to get rid of all the stuff that I'm not going to need. For example, the snow. I'm going to delete that. The snowflakes. I'm going to delete that. Uh, I'm going to make it snow in Blender. We're going to add particles. So I really don't need that. Plus, the snow is going to be more realistic and uh, better. So I'm going to get rid of these um, footprints delete double click delete and I'm also going to get rid of the uh, these words because I'm gonna retype and I'm gonna put uh, happy holidays I'm gonna delete that we've got our scene set up I'm gonna select the background and uh, lock it I'm gonna lock this puppy lock selection uh, so that I can drag select stuff this whole thing is mast see the, the the footprints getting cut off there's a mask and so we need to get rid of this mask we need to go to object clipping mask release there it is I want to get rid of this clipping mask I'm going to select this mask and delete it <coughs> there we go plus if I select it again everything has been grouped the first thing we need to do is ungroup everything because we're going to be selecting items and grouping them ourselves. So we don't want anything grouped. Let's go up to object and ungroup everything. Boom. And so we notice that these are also grouped. Let's ungroup those. Command Shift G. And this guy is grouped. Command Shift G to ungroup. And now this the snow angel the background is group that i want to keep so i'm going to hide that and the whole uh the the uh, character is grouped i'm going to ungroup it command shift g boom there it is i'm also going to get rid of the um the shadow i don't need it i can make my own shadow boom gone uh what i want to do guys the first thing i want to do is start by grouping the stuff that I want to group. So I'm going to select, for example, the entire head and grouping this. So Command G to group. You guys, notice that it did pop up in front of the scarf. That's okay. So this has been grouped together. That's good. Uh, and just for uh, just to keep on doing it, let's group this scarf. Oops, there it is. G for group. Let's group the, the bottom part of the scarf. This, 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 and G. And I'm going to push it up. Command, Shift, right bracket to, to push it forward. And that's basically what we need to do, guys. Check this out. This is a group. This is a group. This is a group. And I'm just moving it by clicking on the arrow keys. Boom right there if you wanted to um, adjust the space it's command K for the settings and the keyboard increment is two inches and you can just put whatever on there that way we can easily put them back all right uh, the next thing I want to do is we have a problem here because the arms are attached it's one object command undo command Z and we need to separate the arms so that we can move them, so that we can uh, rotate them. And so let's go ahead and do that. I am going to actually delete this line and this line. Uh, I don't need them. And then this line. And then I'm going to get the scissor tool. The scissor tool, if you don't see it, it's under the eraser tool. And I'm going to cut it here and then cut it here. For now, I'm just going to hit on the body and then push it to the left. It's over here. 
so that I can work on this arm. With this arm, I am going to click here to continue drawing it. But instead of just closing this path, what I'm going to do is I am going to round it off like this because we are going to need to rotate this arm. So I'm going to go over here and uh, create a half a circle. About there, maybe, maybe just a little like that. Because when we rotate, guys, we're going to have to rotate from here. And I'm going to need that shoulder to stay there. In fact, let's go ahead and move this body over so that I can show you. So when we select this arm, and in fact, we're going to select the, the entire arm. And when we rotate it in Blender, I want to be able to make sure that this arm doesn't fall apart. And so we're going to rotate it from here and so that we can get that um, shoulder there. That's why I created this um, round part here. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is save out all of the, all of the items into their own layer so that we can export everything to SVGs. So I've got the file ready. And this is what the file looks like. See, everything has been saved into their own layer and named separately. For example, the scarf is there. The guy's head is there. The girl's head is over here. So everything that I could think of that we're going to animate has to be its own object. The legs also, we're gonna uh, get those and then see we can rotate these and we can rotate the, the legs. <clears throat> and then, so everything has been separated Everything is now into groups. For example, his head, his uh, hand, his arm, his leg, his shoes or feet. Uh, also with the girl, her body, her arm, her hands, her head, her feet, uh, the snow angel behind her, the snow angel behind him the footsteps and I typed out I went ahead and typed out the happy holidays which is no big deal and then I converted them to outlines so everything everything has been grouped and separated into its own layer very important because again we need everything to have control in Blender, we need all of these stuff separated so that we can animate it. Makes sense. And when you have all this stuff done, everything has been separated, you could go to File, Export, Export for Screens, and then you have everything here that you need. And everything has been named. You select everything that you want to export. And then you choose format SVG and you choose a folder. Uh, and you can even create a subfolder. And let's go ahead and export uh, the assets. Once it's done, which is super quick, here are all the SVGs got the floor we've got the uh, girl angel the left arm right arm the body the foot the footsteps the hands the head and then the legs so we've got everything in here and now all we need to do is import it into blender so let's go ahead and get that done so let's open up blender 
here we are in Blender. I've already done this, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new 2D animation. I'm not saving that one. Let me go ahead and zoom out a bit. And then I want to do file. Oh, first of all, let's go into object mode and let's go file, import, SVG as grease pencil. And so here we have our SVGs and then I'm just gonna select all of them and then hit import. Boom, there they are. And let's go ahead and check them out. I'm gonna hide the floor, hide it. And then all of the stuff is in here. And it's just now a matter of putting them into place. So I'm gonna see G to grab, and then I'm going to slowly put these where they need to go. So that one goes there, that one goes there. And so guys, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of them where they need to go. Uh, for example, this is the other leg, just G to, G to grab. And I believe that this goes in here, right there. This is the uh, arm, G. This is, I believe, the guy's arm. And I'm going to grab these snow angels, this one and this one. And I'm going to move them in the uh, Y axis. So G, Y, and then I'm going to just move them back. This is forward. And I'm just going to move them back a, li a little bit. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get everything ready and then I'm gonna show you what I did. Um, and here's everything where it needs to be. I just placed everything, I just grabbed everything and placed it. The other thing I wanna show you guys, if I go to the top view, check this out. If I go to the top view and I go to wireframe, so I had to move everything uh, either back or front in the Y so that they could be in the right order for us to see. Uh, what I also did is I moved here in the options, origins, and I moved the origin point to where I thought it might be uh, good to rotate from. For example, let's, let's look at the head. I moved the origin point, I'm gonna hit period to zoom into the head. And I moved the origin point right to here because I thought maybe that's where it needs to rotate from. I'm gonna just get out of origin point and then rotate this. And so that way I can rotate the head. And I might parent it to the scarf, I don't know yet. I don't know yet, so maybe we, if we rotate the scarf, the head will go with it or something. Uh, anyways, I've, I've moved every single pivot point to where I thought that it might be okay to move. Uh, for example, also the arms. So I'm going to move them from here so that we can move the arm down and basically rotate the arm up and down. Also the legs, I move the pivot point up here so that we can rotate the legs. Remember he's making that a snow angel so he's gonna be rotating the legs as well and so we have everything guys let me go ahead and hit uh, zero to zoom out and so let me go ahead and summarize everything that we've done so far we of course found the reference image that we are going to use we found it on free pick and it's free if you uh, sign up for a free account you can download a lot of these for free uh, I downloaded it and I saw that it was an EPS. That's good, it's vector, so it is vector. I opened it up in Adobe Illustrator. I got rid of anything that I didn't want. I grouped everything that I wanted grouped. 
and I created a bunch of layers. Then we exported everything. Exported as SVG. Here's everything. All of the groups that I created are here. Cancel. And once I had everything in SVGs, all of the stuff is SVGs, guys. And all I did was go into Blender and import it here. Imported SVG as grease pencil. So all of these are grease pencil objects now. And I can go ahead and animate. I can start rigging this thing. I think we're going to stop it here so I don't want to take this too long. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and rig all the characters so that we can start animating. So we'll rig and animate in the next video. And I think I'm going to leave the camera movement and the snow for the last video. So guys, remember, if you haven't done so, hit the like button and subscribe. And also check out our website, learntoanimate.com. Sign up for the email and also if you want to support the channel if you want to go to patreon go sign up for the patreon i will have this this svg this blend file in patreon so that if you want to grab this and follow along in the rigging you may do so but i'll have this blend file in the patreon i'll upload it so that you guys can have access to this blend file and in the next video if you want to follow along with the rigging and the snow and all that stuff, it'll be a lot easier for you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.